So, let's start a problem dito sa flexural members natin. Okay? So, determine the nominal flexural strength of W14 by 68 of A572 grade 50 steel subject to, so, tatlong conditions. Meron tayong continuous lateral support. So, dapat continuous yun. So, continuous lateral support. An embrace length of 6 meters with CB is equal to 1. Uh, and let us see an embrace length of 9 meters with CB as 1. Okay, so let's start with the on sa ating unang condition which is, which is the continuous lateral support. So, hindi natin yung problema yung unbraced length niya. Okay, hindi natin isosolve yung ano. Pero, kailangan pa rin natin i-check yung, yung ratio natin na Yung lambda is equal to yung BF divided by 2TF, di ba? So, kailangan natin alam yan. So, o nga pala, itong data na nakikita nyo ito, ito yung minimum data na kailangan nyo para masolve nyo itong flexural member natin. Okay, pagdating sa NSCP 2015. So, yan yung mga data na kailangan ninyo. So, so from that, so meron tayong 254. Divided by uh, TF, 2 times 18.3. So, meron tayong is equal to 6.9 or 6.94. Okay, saan natin i-compare ito? Uh, punta tayo sa table ng NCP 2015. So, this is the table that we need to check whether our elements are compa compact or non-compact or slender. So, dito tayo sa case 1 na kung saan. So, palaking ko pa ng konti at para makita ninyo. Okay? So, dito tayo sa number 1 which is flexural flexure in flange of rolled ice sections and channels. So, yung ratio na, itong B over T is just simply yung BF over 2TF din natin yan. Parehas lang yan. So, i-compare natin dito at i-compare natin dito. So, kung lumagpas tayo dito, then, hindi na siya compact. We have a non-compact uh, element. Tapos, pag in-between sila, so, pag hindi naman lumagpas dito, hindi, then we have a, ayun nga, non-compact pa rin siya. Pero, pag lumagpas na siya dito, is we have a slender element na. So, hindi na gagana yung provision natin. So, uh, balik tayo sa ating problem. So, ito yung nakuha natin, 6.94. So, ikaw, doon sa una, uh, lambda r, so, balikan ko, lambda r, lambda, so, uh, sorry, lambda p, lambda p. So, we have lambda p, which is equal to 0. Uh, 0.38 square root of e over fy. So, meron tayong, yung FY natin is 344 dito sa, dito sa ating bakal na A572 na kalalagay naman yung grade niya, grade 50, KSI, i-convert natin yan into MPA kasi we will solve it with uh, SI unit. So, divided, uh, multiplied by, syempre yung steel natin, di ba, we are allowed to use a 200,000 MPA and then yung FY natin na 344. So, square root. Okay, so meron tayong So, meron tayong Okay, 9.63 uh, Okay, and then i-compute din natin yung uh, Nandito nga pala yung code na gagamitin natin para mamaya, alisin ko na muna So, meron ulit tayong L, uh, lambda r naman na 1 point multiplied by the square root of ito, Fy. Pero hindi ko na susulat lahat dahil yun din naman yung 1 lang yung factor niya. So, therefore, meron tayong so, meron tayong 24 point one. Okay. So, ito yung mga conditions na imemet natin. Ah. Tatandaan nyo. Kapag yung lambda natin is lesser than lambda P, then we have a compact section. Okay. May compact. Uh, hindi, hindi lang section muna. Uh, element, which is the flange. Kapag yung lambda naman natin is greater than sa ating lambda P, 
Pero, lesser than sa lambda r natin, then we have a non-compact section. And then, kung yung lambda natin is greater than lambda r, then we have a slender element. Sorry, I keep saying na section, pero dapat element muna. Yung flange pa lang naman kasi yung sinasa uh, tinutukoy natin dito. Okay. So, dahil lumalabas naman na yung ating na compute na 6.94 is lesser than, dito muna tayo, sa lambda p, 9.163. So, therefore, we have a compact flange. So, flange muna yung tinutukoy natin, na flange. Okay, so, balik tayo sa table ulit kasi flange pa lang yung chinecheck natin. At saka, ito pa lang table na to ang i-check nyo sa NACP. Kung meron kayong copy, please check itong itong table na ito. Okay? Then, let's check for the compactness of the web. Pero karaniwan naman yan, eh, laging compact. Pero, kailangan i-check. Hindi laging dapat assuming na compact lagi. Okay? So, ito naman yung gagamitin natin. Case number 9, flexure in web of doubly symmetric I-shaped section and channels. Okay, so H over T, W, thickness ng ating web. It's so, itong dalawang dalawang limiting factor itong gagamitin natin. Okay? So, so medyo mahaba-aba to pero, oops, sorry. So, let's compute for H over T first bago tayo mag-proceed sa comparison. Ang H over T, yung H na tutuko, tinutukoy dito sa ating flange is the, from the toe of the, this weld, oh sorry, from this height up to doon sa, ano na to. So, yung total height natin, yun nga lang D dito sa ating ano, ilales natin itong distance na to, which is, ito yung tinatawag nating K. Okay? From the toe of the weld. From the the face of the flange, outer face of the flange, to the, the papunta dun sa toe of the weld. So, meron naman dito sa ating sa ating data, which is K. So, yan yung gagamitin natin. So, ayun, mapapansin nyo, H is equal to D less 2K. Okay, so, kailangan natin yon So, i-check naman natin yung compactness nung ating, ano, so, medyo mahaba-haba ito. Meron tayong H over TW. So, meron tayong H, meron tayong D less 2K over TW. So, meron tayong uh, 356. So, meron tayong 356 na depth minus 2 times yung ating K, which is 333, then 10.5. Okay. So, meron tayong 333 over 10.5. So, therefore, meron tayong So, ito yung mga values na kailangan natin. So, sinulat ko na. So, i-compare natin yan dun sa ating lambda P and lambda R. Pero halata naman na yung lambda na na-compute natin is lesser than lambda P. So, therefore, dito sa condition, ito pa rin yung uh, mga cases na kailangan natin alamin. Pero, kitang kita naman na lesser than siya sa P. So, therefore, meron tayong compact web. So, therefore, kung compact yung flange, compact yung ating web, then we have a, therefore, we have a compact section. So, meron tayong compact section. We can now use the provisions doon sa ating, itong provision na ito. Okay? So, we can now use this provision. Kasi, sabi niya, doubly symmetric compact I-shaped members. So, kailangan lahat ng elements is compact for you to use this section. Okay. So, dahil nalaman na natin compact, doon sa unang case natin, continuous lateral support, eh, wala tayong LB. So, therefore, eh, all throughout the length of the of the member, eh, 
wala tayong problema. So therefore, ang gagamitin natin sa provision na to kasi sabi niya dito, basahin din natin para makita ninyo kung paano. So, ayusin ko lang. Palitin ko konti para magkasya sa screen. So, ayan. So, sabi niya dito na ito yung gag uh, magbabase tayo dun sa ating plastic vomit which is the product of sim simply just the product of the yielding allowable yielding stress and then the plastic modulus. Okay, so magbabase tayo sa ating. Then yun na rin yung ating i-considered as nominal if yung uh, theoretical cases natin is perfect. Okay, pero bako tayo dito sa section na to, 50622, lateral torsional buckling, doon sa una, when the unbraced length is lesser than LP, then the limit state of lateral torsional buckling does not exist. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito, in other words, yung lateral support mo is continuous. So therefore, hindi daw gagana itong section na ito. So therefore, babalik tayo dito sa section na ito. Okay, yun yung sinasabi niya. So, therefore, yung magiging sagot natin para sa number, letter A is, okay, so dito na tayo magsusulat, letter A. A is equal to the nominal moment is equal to the yielding strength, stress, sorry, and then the plastic modulus about the strong axis. So, meron tayong, so, copy natin yun. Yung FY, ulitin ko, pag i-convert natin itong grade 50, lalabas yan 344. So, ilagay ko na lang din dito para may palatandaan tayo. 344. Okay? Then, ito yung kukunin natin. Itong uh, 1,880 times 10 raised to 3. Okay? So, meron tayong 344 times 1,880 times 10 raised to 3. Tandaan nyo, yung magiging product nitong dalawang, in terms sa units, yung product nito is, ang lalabas dyan sa kanila is Newton mm. So, medyo malaki yung lalabas na unit natin. So, dapat kailangan tayo mag-divide ng 1,000 para sa Newton, para maging kilonewton, then another 1,000 para sa mm, para maging kilonewton meter yung sagot natin. So, therefore, meron tayong nominal moment for continuous lateral support. Meron tayong 646.72 um, kilonewton meter. Okay? So, ito yung ating sagot para sa letter A. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo malaman yung capacity strength niya and then Mamili kayo kung LRFD or ASD. Depende na yan sa tanong ng doon sa question o yung hinahanap sa tanong natin. Okay? So, letter B and letter C will be on another video kasi medyo mahaba na itong video na to. So, see you on the next video.